Oh well, so I might as well just start my vlog. So, so I wonder what this guy's doing. Good morning. Oh, and they're going on a boat. Mm -hmm. Just this guy down in the blue shirt digging a big hole. Oh yeah. I'm curious what he's doing. I assume it's for an umbrella. Yeah, that's probably what it's for. Oh yeah, because there's an umbrella standing right next to the other guy. Yeah. So good morning, guys. Today is our first full day in Hawaii. And we have a reservation for, I forgot my watch, for Pearl Harbor today. Good morning. I forgot to put my watch on. Oh, geez. Mm. Mm. So here is the fun little pool area. I wonder if that's a pool we were just looking at. Yeah, I think that it is from up there. Nice. They actually uh, sell little fans here, guys. Just so you know, they're like $12.99. Very cool. Yeah, I don't know what that one is. Oh, salmon nig nigiri. Mm -hmm. Salmon nigiri. Yeah. And then that one. Poke bowl ahi tuna spicy. There's a tuna one. Oh, it's California hand roll. Oh yeah, that's cool. And then they have this too, which is um, po ahi poka spicy. Oh, that's tuna. Spicy tuna right here. Yeah. Okay, well this is good to know. Glad. And then, um, oh yeah. Oh, that's, oh, there's your parfaits for breakfast. Okay, well, we'll have to come back here and yeah. We'll have to come back in here and grab some stuff for breakfast. Pasta, salads, wraps. Nice. Staff pick. Oh, that's funny, but yeah, that's spam. Because I know what spam looks like. That's what's on top of it. So yeah, I'm gonna try one of those. Oh, absolutely. Oh yeah, absolutely. They have pot stickers too. Yeah. So you can get some pot stickers and then look at loads of oh and lemons. Oh and chocolate. Oh my god! I need those lemons. Oh yeah, I love that. Yeah. How heavy is it? Well pick it up. Let me see. Because I want to know how heavy it is. Is it heavy? Dang it. Because I would like to get that for home. Take it home. Yeah. I know I love it. Yeah, I know. Now that's not horrible at all. Look, we might just have to settle for some of these. Some coasters, babe. Might just have to settle for some coasters. He's like a little squishy. Yeah, he's cute. Pokemon. Oh, all those little guys. Muchi Fuwa plush. Those are cute. Yeah, those are adorable. You gotta get that for your dad. <gasps> oh yeah, I need to get one. Mm -hmm. All right, after we went into the ABC store, we got a bunch of stuff in there. Now we're just gonna walk into the Christmas store. Oh, that a yeah, it was 120. Oh. with pineapples oh yeah look at the food look at the food yeah yeah wow oh yeah good stuff yeah yummy and then what are those so those are North Shore coconuts mm. so you can get a North Shore coconut thing here mm. So that was a nice little walk. We have about an hour and a half before um, our tour comes to pick us up for Pearl Harbor. Um, we did get like a bunch of things while we were downstairs. Um, I did get some Christmas ornaments while I was down there. I was only gonna get one and then they have buy three, get one free. So I ended up with four. And then um, I have a bag full of like t-shirts for Brian. Um, I got some sandals for myself. Look at this really pretty, like, lay. I love these. These are so pretty. Look how beautiful these are. I think I'll wear this today, maybe. It's a little warm. Um, and then I got some magnets, and then I got, um, uh, my dad, a little hula girl, because he always says, get me something, Ange. 
So I got him a little hula girl and then Brian got a little hula girl as well so that he can sit her on his desk. So I got her and then I got some magnets and then these are my little shoesies that I got. I just wanted some like flip flops that I can like flip on or slide on and off. So these are just got these ones. Actually, Brian picked these ones out and he thought these ones were really cute. $8.99 for these. Um, and then Brian just, like I said, got a bunch of um, sweatshirts or not sweatshirts, t-shirts. And then we got the Hawaiian Tropic sunscreen. Um, and then I got some magnets. So my magnets down here, I got this one that says Aloha. And then I got this one that says Hawaii on it. Super cute. And then this one just says Aloha. So maybe it'll focus. Maybe. Eh, it won't. But anyway, so there one says Aloha. So very, very cute. Love all of our things. And um, that's just the first day. <laughs> This is kind of hot. Uh, that's why I didn't wear my necklaces today because it was going to be like super hot outside. And then Brian stopped downstairs to get um, himself a coffee and a donut, like a Danish or whatever. And then I came up here to bring this stuff up here. And then he's going to text me when he is done getting his coffee. And we're going to meet downstairs and maybe try to get him some shoes at Volcom. Not sure yet. Um, but anyway, and then yeah, then we'll be ready for our little trip to Pearl Harbor. So Brian's getting some new shoes. He's gonna get some of these, which look really, really nice. Mm -hmm. Those are cool. Yeah, those are really nice. Mm -hmm. And I like the fact too, because you always do that. You, I know. Yeah, that's so nice. Yeah, because if my heel starts blistering. Yeah, you do. Oh, yep, that's nice. That's why I have socks on with these, because the sides were blistering. But yeah, very nice. It's a cool little store. Alrighty, so we are now off to go to Pearl Harbor. But I wanted to show you guys before, that is Diamond Head right there. So that's a volcano, which is so cool. We're gonna go do that tomorrow. But right now, we're gonna go head out to Pearl Harbor. And for Pearl Harbor, you can't bring any bags. That's what my little note says on my phone. You can bring your camera and a phone and anything you can fit in your pocket. That is it. So. I chose to bring you guys and my phone. Yeah, I did. It says D, so we shall see. Nice new shoes, babe. You look really nice. Ah, good deal. Oh, geez. I'll give you a percentage. Back Prada. Here, uh, yeah, strip bars, uh, tattoo shop, all kinds of so the white key, all those Max Mara, there. Louis Vuitton. The Maybe Tiffany store. Like right Tiffany. Now this store is closed, but everybody else is open to the left right here. Oh. The reason why is DFS, duty free shoppers, only Japanese shop over there. 90% oh. oh. or 95% of us say, oh, the customers are all Japanese. Because the Japanese are not back in big numbers like before, mm -hmm. you know, they can't open up. I imagine when the Japanese do come back, Japan has a lot of restrictions on their, their citizens traveling, huh? Oh, wow. So they lifted it, so you know, this sun didn't come back slowly. Oh, cool. Several thousand in a day. Yeah. I didn't know they have restrictions. Mm-mm, I didn't either. <laughs> okay, we're coming over here. This is called Duke's Lane. I gotta go to the other hotel this way. But uh, this is called Duke's Lane. To the left, you have all this kiosk over here. This is all that's left of the old international market thing. Oh. Which is over there. Now they have all the high-end stores. Mm -hmm. We had this all that's left with all these kiosks to be in the old mm. international market. That's now they're all over here. The high end stores are either Tesla over there, roll it. <laughs> mm. mm. I'd rather do like the kiosk, the jamboree type of That's just really cool. Yeah, those are those are really cool right. looking. That looks fun. I mean, I'd like to walk through there. Yeah. That's cool. Wow, Duke's Marketplace. Awesome. Might actually get authentic things over there. Yeah. When we, we vacation to Catalina. Aloha and mahalo. Thank you oh, for coming on the tour. Aloha. It's not done yet. Okay. A cool motorcycle. Thank you very much. My name is Keely Me. I'll be your tour driver today. Thank you for having us on the tour, okay? Okay. Keely Me, you're killing me. Keely Me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, not today, but yeah. <laughs> hey, from the island of American Samoa. You guys heard of the Samoans? Mm -hmm. Yes. 
Big brown guys are going to want to be in the NFL mm -hmm. football. Uh-huh. <laughs> Some of them want to be actors. Yeah. I'm part of that tribe. <laughs> <laughs> But okay, we're going down in this submarine. Oh, going down in the submarine. Holy crap! Come down backwards. No, I'm good. Oh. Oh, that's great. Wow. And their beds. Wow. Yeah, there's like bombs right there and then the beds. I don't know if you just climb. Right. Little kitchen area. I assume that's a potty. That would be interesting. Yeah. Go, yeah, because you got to share that bed. Right. Someone's head sleeping right here. Oh, yeah. No, that's a sink. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's a sink. You pull the sink down. Okay, their fans like above. The, oh my God, I'd be oh. dying in here. See the fans up above there. Oh God, yeah. <sighs> Good Lord. And again, getting up in there. Oh yeah, no I way. Agree. You'd hit your head. So Little yeah, right. kitchen yeah. area where they would sit and eat. See, and I would love this. No. I would love it. No. You would. Yeah, no way. Oh, it's too yeah. tiny. Yeah. Ooh wee. Awesome. Climbing out of that is not fun. Whoa. It's hot down there too. Yeeks. Golly. Wow. Yikes. So I wonder if you like ring this bell. Does it really ring? I'm not gonna do it. Oh, nope it doesn't. So you can't like pull it, but that probably was a bell that you did ring at one point. So there's a little food truck out here where you can get like food. So Brian's gonna get some pulled pork nachos, which is, sounds fine to me. I'll have a couple of bites, but yeah, it's delicious. It's called Jake's Pride Runs Deep. Awesome. And then they have like machines and stuff where you can buy drinks. They also have a restaurant too. Bathrooms over there. So really nice like facility area set up. Mm, those look really good. Yeah, delish. Wow. Let <laughs> me just hit those.
actually just taking a dinner or taking it easy for dinner tonight. Um, and so I got some of the stuff that we saw this morning, um, the ahi pokey spicy. We got a salad. Brian got some sushi and some shish, I don't know what that is. Sushimi. Sushimi. And then I'm going to try this, which is musubi spam and egg for kaki. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure how well that's going to go. But we're going to try it. I don't know. Do so, okay, so I'm going to try my... Okay, even though it's just ahi tuna. And Brian says the sushi's good. Mmm, that's not bad. I need rice though, you know what I mean? It's good though. I think it'd be good with the salad too. Do I tear, do I dare try to open it and open up this? It's hot, like it's warm. Mmm. All right, so here it goes. Edible. I like the spam. It's not horrible. But it just smells that it smells fishy, so it just kinda like a really cool. I want you to try it. And see what you think. No, you no, it's warm. You have to have it warm. It's warm right now. Alrighty, so we're we just finished up eating and it was perfect because last night and not that we not that it matters, not that we care, but last night we spent a hundred dollars on our meal and neither one of us really liked what we got. <laughs> so when we saw this stuff this morning, we're like, we'll come back and we'll get this and this is what we'll have for dinner tonight because it's both of us liked it. We both ate everything. We still have some salad left, so that's great for like even later on. I think later on we're gonna walk down and go get some ice cream, so that'll be nice. But um, I did just kind of want to like share about the USS Arizona. It was amazing. Um, definitely, definitely recommend, highly recommend if you're in the area. You do have to pay like a separate fee, like it's a separate thing to go over to the USS Arizona. You can do a standby line. Um, you may or may not get in depending on how busy it is. Um, but we had reservations, we paid for it, so we were able to like just kind of get right on, which was really nice. But everything was just so cool, it was just, Awesome. It was just awesome and sad too at the same time if you really really think about it, 81 years ago when Pearl Harbor was attacked and there's 900 men still entombed inside of the USS Arizona. Um, just definitely very moving, definitely very sad, um, <clears throat> but historic and I highly recommend it. Um, but yeah, very, very cool. Loved it. Um, but that's for now. We're just going to chill here for a while and we'll go back out later and get some ice cream. We're going to just, I'm going to finish editing some a video so I can get that one up. I'm going to try to get caught up with videos here. But full is still packed down there. Babe, how did you like Pearl Harbor today? It's good. It was nice, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. You recommend it? Absolutely. Yeah. So we're actually walking over to Dairy Queen to get ourselves a little dessert for this evening. It's so funny, they have that netting all over the place here to keep all the birds out. And our Dairy Queen is just like right around the corner here. Holy thong, the thong, thong, thong. Where? <laughs> Straight across right there by that rock, walking by the rock. Oh, yeah. we're the oh we're gonna go down to the water first. Okay. Oh, my first time with a uh, Hawaiian sand between my toes. I'm gonna take off my shoes. Ooh, it's rough sand. Oh yeah. This is 
So there is Diamond Head over there. Here's all of our resort. I think this one is our resort right here. Our hotel is up here. It's just on the other side is our room. But yeah, that's our resort. And Brian's putting his feet in. I don't know. Oh, he left his shoes right there. Cold? Cold? No? Feels good. Oh, nice. Nice and warm then, huh? Excellent. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, it's really nice out here. So pretty. Like, I love the view. Yeah. And I love the view of Diamond Head. Isn't that cool? Yeah, that's really cool. Into the Dairy Queen. Ooh. Oh, it's a very small Dairy Queen. Wow. Ooh. It's gonna melt before we get it upstairs. Huh? Ooh, we just look so good. Oh yeah. Nothing like a nice ice cream on a nice warm Hawaiian day. Yummy. Now to get it upstairs so we can eat it on our balcony. So this time last night I was asleep <laughs> because I was exhausted and we're trying to stay up as late as we possibly can tonight because of the timing. But um, it's so pretty out here. I mean, the sun is setting right over there. It's such a beautiful sunset. So we're gonna just kinda wait for the sun to set and wait for all the lights to come on. It's so beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Such a nice, such a nice day. And this like little lagoon here is just so cool to look out at and watch and I'm sure it probably says do not climb on that rock and all those kids are all climbing on that rock. I'm pretty sure the sign says that, but whatever, whatever. I want to rent one of those two while we're here. So I might talk Brian into doing that like tomorrow or Monday because I think that would be super fun. I would try to take you guys along. That is for sure because that just looks so much fun. But tomorrow night, we're going to do that. That's the luau. And I'm super excited to do that. So we're gonna go exploring tomorrow, just around the island and stuff, just to see what we can see and all that good stuff. There's some surfers out there. Lots of surfers going out right now. Dang. I know you guys can't see them because of the sun, but there's a lot of surfers out there. What? That's so cool.